Hey there, I'm Carolyn Ahrens. I have a new album out called Recognition and I want to tell you about it. Uh, Recognition was recorded uh, with a phenomenal band. So lucky. Uh, of course, my long-term dual partner, Spencer Capier, is all over the record playing violins, Irish bazooki, all manner of guitars and uh, this whole suite of mandolins. He's at the point now where he has a regular mandolin, an octave mandolin, and a mandola. And they're all, they're all over this project. Uh, I contribute some guitar and piano myself, and then our co-producer, Roy Salmon, added pump organ, and accordion, and percussion, and all manner of things. And then we had Miles Hill, phenomenal acoustic bass player, and the wonderful Randall Stahl on uh, drums and percussion as well. And then, then we had these amazing guests. We have uh, a duet with Amy Grant, squee, uh, and vocals from the wonderful McCrary sisters, um, Steve Dawson on pedal steel, members of Five Alarm Funk on horns, and um, oh, one of my favorite things, Nashville's uh, Love Sponge String Quartet. Uh, contributed string quartet arrangements on a couple of the tunes and they're just, they're beautiful. Recognition is my 13th album, but it's the first uh, full-length studio album of new material that I've released in six years. Six years is a long time. For most of those years, I, I was still playing music. Uh, and, and then doing very meaningful work with an organization called Renovari that I'm still working with and that I absolutely love. But music started to come back in a particular way uh, last March 2020. I think you probably remember March 2020. <laughs> it's a weird, weird time around the globe, very hard time around the globe. But for me personally, the first thing that happened was um, the Canadian Gospel Music Association gave me an award they um, inducted my song Seize It the Day uh, into their Hall of Fame. And um, because of the pandemic, we had to have the award show online. And in my acceptance speech, I was very aware that I was talking to a whole bunch of musicians who were grounded because of the pandemic. They couldn't tour, they couldn't go do the things that they felt that they were called to do. And so to me, it seemed like a kind of exile. And it got me thinking about uh, Jeremiah 29 and so I reminded them what God reminded uh, the Israelites through Jeremiah that um, when you're in exile what you need to do is plant gardens and seek the welfare of the city and in this speech I suggested that for for musicians uh, planting gardens is writing songs or at least cultivating the earth for the possibility of writing songs praying being still listening to great art and, um, and so I, I think it was a pretty moving speech. I gave them a charge uh, to plant gardens in this time. And then I got off the, the award show and I thought, well, I'm a hypocrite. I, I haven't been writing songs for quite some time. That was March. In April, by middle of April, something was starting to shift. And I remember posting on Facebook that I was falling back in love with music again. I felt like I was some part of me was thawing out and music was just coming alive for me again. By May, my duo partner Spencer had written this beautiful violin melody called After This and I asked him if we could write a song together around it and we did and then a bunch of our friends helped us um, make a video for it and put that out in the world. And that sequence of events just seemed to unlock something and all of a sudden songs started coming like crazy. I, I couldn't sleep, I could barely focus on anything. I just had to kind of receive and write these uh, songs after, after a long drought of songwriting. And so I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and uh, by June it was clear that um, I should try to go and record these songs. So very tentatively, remember it had been six years since I had released an album, but very tentatively I, I launched a Kickstarter at the end of June, June 30th, hoping that maybe, just maybe I could raise $20,000 and get in the studio and get this music down. And then it was unbelievable. I think we were fully funded in eight or nine hours on the first day. It was so moving and encouraging. 
and uh, people continue to give throughout the the Kickstarter about the end 573 people had kind of supported this music and it's because of them that recognition exists the Kickstarter wrapped up on July 15th, 2020, which was 25 years to the day from the release of my very first album. And we got in the studio and we started making this record. The release plan for Recognition is a bit of an experiment. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna release one song at a time to streaming platforms like Apple and Spotify and Deezer and Tidal, um, Amazon, all those kinds of places. Um, and so it'll take probably about a year for the whole record to get out a song at a time on those streaming platforms. However, if you would like to own the whole thing now, you can get it um, at carolynearns.com. Uh, that's a way for you to get a scoop on the music and also for you to be able to support this work and hopefully be involved in the creation of further work. So that's recognition, a little taste of it anyways. I really hope you'll check it out, listen to it, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Without music, life would not be fair. I heard someone say, well, God knows there's still justice everywhere. I guess this is my song for all the ones Who keep singing as the world comes undone It's like a broken hallelujah Their melodies soar Till the world's not quite so broken